guys, this is Svetlana and Bali Conrad with you, Bali Outlast. Today I'm going to be talking uh, about one of the stories from, uh, let's just say, Russia, you know, Institute of Russian Theatre, where Eric got his education. It's about Mikhail Lavrovsky, Mikhail Leonidovich Lavrovsky. Um, well, I'll just call him for now because we're in the United States. I'm going to be going for, by how Americans used to uh, call. You're just going to go by name, right? Mikhail. Um, so there's an interesting story there. Um, the story goes like this, I guess, you know. So he wasn't Mikhail Lavrovsky. He wasn't always in the institute uh, because he's already a top guy. So he will sometimes will show up, will do the classes, you know. So I didn't know that he's coming. That was kind of a surprise that he would be coming. Um, and uh, uh, I didn't really prepare it. And I told you before that uh, uh, Utkin, Vadim Utkin, the other teacher, the primary teacher of work, he was against recording anything so I just only had a camera with me you know the, the old photo camera and you can just a little bit make a movie on it and that's what you're gonna see I have a little bit of a recording of Eric actually doing class um, that Mikhail Lavrovsky was teaching so anyway um, <clears throat> we were in the uh, common area in the Institute and uh, I was sitting near the, let's just call the teacher's lounge, um, you know, and uh, the, all the, the teachers were there and the door was open. Wasn't really trying to eavesdrop on them. I was just sitting near, wasn't really, uh, you know, didn't really want to listen to their conversation. But uh, unfortunately, uh, Mikhail Lavrovsky and Vadim Mutkin, uh, they were talking a little bit loud. Uh, and uh, so, um, Vadim Mutkin was introducing and saying that we have a new student and the student is American uh, and he said as they call he's a very good student he's an older student he's not a young uh, like not 18 uh, so he's in his 30s um, and um, so he's studying and trying to be a teacher he's from America and he was talking about Eric um, and uh, the funny part about this while I'm telling you the story it's uh, interesting to see that uh, even Russians have a certain kind of um, association you would call it or like prejudice feelings towards uh, foreigners you know and especially Americans um, and the one of them it was it's so Mikhail Lavrovsky he heard about the new student and he says like, oh no American no, you know, I, they don't know how to even stand in fifth position. They stand in a triangle, you know, they don't stand in fifth position. They don't understand anything. They don't know anything. They don't even turn out. They like, you can't even touch them because the moment you touch them, everybody's going to prison. And so that's how he uh, presented his um, idea. And he says, like, I can't, you know, I don't want to, I can't look at Americans even. I don't want to have him as my as my student. But um, Vadim Utkin, he was actually on Eric's side because he already experienced him as a student. He knows that he is actually know what he's talking about and he's a very good student. So he was trying to kind of sell him, uh, like, you know, prop him up a little bit. He said, oh, come on, you know, like, don't really be so upset about Americans. We understand the, the stories and histories between us, you know, so maybe we should give him a chance. Um, and so they were like all uh, talking very loud and they walking out and I was sitting and I was looking at him. Really? You just don't look against Americans that bad? And he, and he actually saw me, he understood that I'm well, <laughs> probably uh, seen, uh, heard the conversation and said, yes, Americans, you don't know anything, you know, so and you can tell him that. And he walks by and then they go into the studio and um, Mikhail Lavrovsky starts a class. And um, he starts class with like, like this, you know, I know that you are the only one who's American in this class, you know, but no one thing, I'm not going to speak Russian, I'm only going to speak English. Oh, I mean, I mean I'm not going to speak English, I'm going to speak Russian to all of you, you know, because I don't care, you know, like for one student, I'm not sacrificing, I'm not going to do anything. So you're going to, if you have a question, ask me in Russian, I'm not answering anything and I'm not going to pay attention to you. That's it. So he was like 
already like set the tone. Well, Eric is like, okay, let's do the class. As a normal thing is, that's what it means when you are a foreigner in another country, you're gonna be treated not always good, let's put it this way. And uh, so, you know, uh, Eric started to do class. And by the, I would say, Ron de Jam exercise, and I think that's what in the footage, the only thing that I actually really recorded, where uh, Mikhail Lavrovsky already switched his uh, his thoughts and uh, he started to speak only English through the whole class. Uh, he was actually explaining about the turnout, how, how you can actually do the where you can move the legs. He really, really liked the way Eric was trying to do, even so he wasn't anymore in the dance shape. Uh, you can see he's a little bit big there, uh, up front, you know, and, but he still, you know, did the class because it was about the teachers, right? So you become a teacher, so you have to put it through your body to also to understand how to do it. And that's what he did. And that's funny how Mikhail Lavrovsky started to, actually, he, he liked him. At the end of the class, he liked them. <laughs> you know, they actually became somewhat, uh, you know, I would say like, not the best bodies, but you know, like they 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 liked each other for sure. Like so, some kind of a that uh, misunderstanding that I guess that's uh, you know the associations that Russians have started to disintegrate a little bit, and he started to look at him differently. So yes, I mean it's actually very very interesting to see that that. Um, uh, you know, even me, like when I was. Uh, translating and was sitting there, I felt a little bit uncomfortable um, that because Eric is, let's put it this way, he's a guest in Russia, right? And uh, he's a guest there. And it kind of like we didn't, as Russians, you know, we didn't kind of warm him in and like didn't have that warm greetings, you know, kind of was like all from the beginning frustrated. And I noticed that it's normal. It was normal in through his whole experience in uh, in Russia. It's like every we're talking about ballet. Every time when he will go, the first meeting is always like this kind of like mm, I don't really know that you probably don't know anything. And then it, they give him some time. At least they give him time to really show that he either know or don't know. And when he did show that he has some knowledge, you know, so actually they take him and do in reverse and then they start liking the guy. There is a similar, ex uh, there is a similar story from uh, Moscow State Choreographic uh, Academy or MGAH, Bolshoi Academy, where Genrich Mayorov, he's a main, um, he's a dean of the uh, choreographic department. And he's the one who actually also had similar feelings towards Eric, where he was like a little bit like against him being in there, like against Americans. Uh, and then he changed his thoughts and he said, it's like, well, he actually one of us, he looks like us and he speaks like us. He meant from the soul, soul part, you know, not from the um, actual language, you know. And he started to like the guy. so. That's, you know, I'll tell you that story next time. But this is one thing I did notice, yes, in ballet in general, um, uh, as a person who just observes it and was translating, and I noticed that even in Russia, there's a lot of things when there is certain kind of a, uh, you know, you know, Russians will give you the kind of a look from the beginning, you know, and uh, we, you know, we will give you that look, like, oh, what do you know, or you don't know, you know. But, but if you, let's suppose not, not charm us, but if you charm us with knowledge, that's the only way that actually you can charm Russians with. Uh, in Bali, if you charm us with knowledge and understanding that you really know, we, yeah, we will give you a chance and we will work with you. But if uh, there is no knowledge and we know that you don't have any. No, you're not gonna gain the respect from them. But that's what I notice in ballet. It's a lot of it, and I notice it's actually some of it is here too. You know, you just not maybe to each other, or maybe you more aggressive or more open to each other than if it would be in different language. 
you know but you know anyway but actually i have other footage uh showing how russians uh, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll show you more, you know, there will be more podcasts about it. I will show you where Eric was teaching Russian uh, dancers and how they were perceiving him. There's a different dynamic there. You can actually see it. I will show it to you. You'll see it's in, it's in the footage. You will, you, you will follow me when I will show it to you. I probably will do it one of my follow-up podcasts about this. So anyway, but that's what my story about uh, was uh, Mikhail Lavrovsky. But one thing I can tell you, uh, after that one meeting, that, no, no, let's put this way, not, not also, like not that much pleasant meeting, but that, but then turned out to be okay. Uh, I remember uh, when we would come to the uh, Institute other days, and uh, I remember I start seeing him in the Metro. It's interesting that he's taking Metro like everybody else. And when he was in the Metro, I didn't even notice him right away. He actually looks like a normal guy that you, he doesn't even, like Mikhail Lorovsky, he didn't really stand out like, that he's a valid person or anything. Like, you know, I didn't even notice him until we pretty much the last, um, the last people getting off the car, uh, metro car. And, and um, yes, it was interesting to notice that, that he is a legend and uh, he's taking the metro. And most of the people don't even recognize him. Uh, they either don't pay attention to him or just nobody really making a big deal. Um, again, you know, Russians not known to be so much being a fan of somebody. I mean, we are fans, but we're not gonna be fans in the open, like go crazy about you so much. We will keep it. Um, we will notice that maybe you're a famous person, but we will not approach you. You know, it's, I don't know, it's a cultural difference. We don't do that. There's something about it. And the only time I will approach you, if we, let's just say, in a common ground, like, you know, we, we came to see you in the performance, or we saw, you know, like it's a movie and, and you like there representing it, like there's a premiere and we will see you, you know. But um, most of the, or like it happened to me that some of the, Russian actors, um, they were living in the same area that we live. And yes, and that's how it's a common ground to we'll kind of like know each other, we'll find it. But normally, no, we don't really approach uh, so much. And that's why I guess people, they recognize him, but they're not really approaching him. Like, and they nobody like really approached him. But so, but the, but the dancers and, and the, the teachers and ballet students, they all wanted to obviously, when they would see him, they would all come and wanted to take pictures and you know I think I know I mostly noticed the foreigner foreign students are actually approaching um, the Russian stars that way versus Russians Russian to Russian I don't know it's something I don't know it's cultural I guess um, you know but but it doesn't mean that we don't appreciate them it's just we don't again we don't try to interfere so much into your personal life we're kind of like trying to like eh, stay back a little you know we don't like to be uninvited let's put it this way you know because nobody nobody i mean we're kind of assuming that he's a famous person you know he probably needs to go by his own business he doesn't want to be in like stop by and ask about like how he's doing or take a picture with me you know so that's that's what it is nothing really bad you know just that's just a common thing and you know i guess that's what we doing you know so anyway but that was interesting to see like that you know how he reacts Mikhail Lavrovsky reacts in a normal life being in the metro with everybody else then he when he goes to the room and he becomes Mikhail Lavrovsky who's teaching you know that was interesting dynamic to see so anyway